At Lockheed Martin, is, we uh, believe that operations research analysis is extremely important uh, to the corporation and to our customer. It's extremely important to help the customer in their decisions in, uh, in procurement and understanding shortfalls and figure out what's affordable, what's not affordable for future weapon systems for the Department of Defense. One of the main disciplines of operation research is performing mission analysis. Mission analysis involves understanding what it is the systems have to do and what the needs are that must be met. The reason why we do our mission analysis is that we want to connect with our customer by displaying for them a firm understanding of the capabilities that will be required to complete the mission. This further establishes that firm bond that strengthen our relationship that exists between us and our customers. Through the power of simulation, Lockheed Martin Operations Research is demonstrating how hybrid airships can solve our customers' most challenging problems. Hybrid airships use a combination of buoyant, aerodynamic, and direct lift to deliver large, heavy cargo loads to remote and inaccessible areas. Current operations utilize commercial trucking requiring lengthy delivery times and are vulnerable to attack and loss. When hybrid airships are used, operation research has shown significant reduction in delivery times at reduced risk and cost. It is so complex unless you train the right workforce to understand mission analysis, in this case, defensive carrier task force. You have to have submarine experts, you have to have aircraft experts, surface combatant experts. You have to understand satellite communications, all those things to perform that mission to defend that carrier. We, we are investing in our people by developing those resources that are necessary to help train them, to make them more proficient in their discipline, and specifically to help them become better at performing our bread and butter skill, which is a mission analysis. Over the course of the last two years, Lockheed Martin has been investing in an effort called the Operations Analysis Workforce Development Effort. The Operations Research Analyst Success Profile is an effort that we use to determine the realistic requirements for those qualities and attributes that would make the Operations Research Analyst successful. We looked across the personal attributes, the competencies, the knowledge requirements and the experience that we would want of our workforce. As a member of the group technical staff, I work with our visualization team to develop movies representing the capabilities that we are looking to build for our customers. We display for them a thorough understanding of the capabilities necessary in that system and we also get confirmation from a customer that that is exactly what they want. The dynamic comparative analysis methodology is an approach that we've developed that enables our customers and leadership to dynamically adjust assumptions and simultaneously evaluate the outcomes between alternatives. And the outcomes are typically in the forms of costs and readiness. The methodology that we've developed incorporates numerous applications and tools that we bring together to best evaluate the specific mission requirements that our customers have. And then we depict the outcomes of these mission requirements in a highly dynamic visual framework that enables the customers to make the most affordable decisions to meet their readiness requirements. The biggest challenge going forward, at least with our primary customer, which is the Department of Defense, is the fact that budgets are very tight. And under that situation, you have to look for new ways of which to either maintain your force or look for lower cost alternatives and still maintain that combat capability that keeps us a superpower today. So key to Lockheed Martin now as we look forward is the people, the process, and the tools. That's where our major investments are right now. We're trying to make sure that we maintain this expertise that we need as we look forward. The technologies are changing. We're getting now into, for example, directed energy type weapon systems, or we're just on the cusp of that. And the tools, for example, you never have enough tools to do mission analysis properly. You, there's this constant need to upgrade. So it's a, it's a challenge which 
uh, we do not take lightly and is extremely important to our future.